Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a Westpac Banking Corporation account online in 2024. So today we're embarking on a journey to simplify your banking experience by creating a Westpac Banking Corporation account online. Whether you're new to the Westpac or seeking to expand your banking options, join me as we explore the steps of creating an account online. So let's dive into the world of seamless banking experience together and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and visit the westpac banking corporation website and to do so we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to this url section and here you'll have to type Westpac banking just type or Westpac banking hit the enter button and you'll find yourself right here in this page so click on this first link which is westpac.com.au which is australia of course what we want and let's just wait for the page until it loads and you'll find yourself on a page like this so if you have an account go to the top right corner click on sign in to sign into your account some people will say oh why would i want to sign into my account if i am in this video maybe you have a checking account and you want to open a saving account maybe you have a saving account you want to open a checking account and etc and of course if you sign in into your account you'll be able it will be easy for you to uh, log in into your accounts uh, or sorry not to log in to create a new account they will fill up a lot of informations that you already like filled once you're creating your first account and if you don't uh, have an account and you know nothing about this Westpac, you can sim simply scroll down, use the links in here to understand more about it, to have a general idea about this website. A lot of people want that, of course, before opening a bank account. They want to read more about a bank or websites before creating an account on it. And yeah. For the others, of course, you will have, first of all, to go and select your account type. You'll have to go and look for the account type that you want. Do you want a bank account? Whatever you want. So for me, I'll just go here and click on bank accounts. And this should take me. So let me just wait for the page to load. I don't know why it's slow a bit today. So as you can see here, you can find bank accounts plus debit card, saving account, term deposit. Look for whatever you want. For me, I want this bank account and debit card. So I'll just go and click on find out more. Of course, you can look for everyday like bank accounts from here right away, or you can go to saving account, do whatever you want. So click on find out more over here. So whatever you want, of course. And here as you can see they'll give you a lot of options. So transaction account designed for everyone, youth, youth, adults, and students. You can go and check as you can see what do you want exactly. For me, I'll just go with this everyone. As you can see, it's simple to use everyday accounts, packed full of features, including a link debit card that's designed to help your bank with ease. So you click on find out more to read more uh, like the features that comes with this. You can read it all. And if you want to open it, you can simply just go and click on open now right away to start your application so as you can see there's a load in here that we will have to wait for and as you can see westpac choice so an everyday account to make deposits and withdrawals with access via debit card and the important numbers pay no monthly accounts keeping fee if you're under 13 a full-time cherry student new to australia so basically just read all this information we don't have to go through all of this what you will need to know also what you need is a mobile number a secure code will be sent to your mobile to verify your phone number two of these id code documents either a passport medicare medicare card australian driver license and australian birth or australian birth certificates if your details are entered incorrectly we or we are unable to identify you your application will need to be completed in a branch or even denied so foreign tax details only applicable if you're liable to pay taxes in another country what you will get as you can see, access your money with debits, MasterCard, and range of digital wallets, including Apple Pay, Google Pay, access to exclusive offer and discounts to uh, 24 per 7 fraud monitoring and fraud money back guarantee. So, yes, if you are that's what, what you're looking for, check this option, click on open now. If not, click on no, I want something else, and look for the account type that you want. So, for me, I'll just go here and click on open now. And as an example, once I do so, I'll be taken to another page. So here I'll have to answer another questions. As you can see, what kind of account you need? Single or joint? Joint is simply for another people, like your opponents for a minor or something like that. As you can see, is applicant is applicants one already a West Bank account or a West Bank customer? If you have yet, click on yes. If no, click on no. For me, I'm or even single. I don't have to answer the second one. So as you can see, I already a customer. For me, no. As you can see, 
anyone who is 14 years or over will be able to uh, apply on behalf of somebody younger. Uh, you'll be able, of course, if you have it more than 14 years, you'll be able to open it. Anyone with Australian residential address. So you do, uh, or do you have a pensioner concession? So those informations that you want to know. Of course, what you'll need, mobile ID that we already read before, and things you should know. You can read this, of course, all they have PDFs here. Make sure to read this out, and if you agree, click on Get Started right away. So here, as you can see, you will have just to fill up the title. What's your title for me, Mr. Here? First name. For me, I'll just enter some random information for you. Make sure to enter everything accurate, because if you did not enter accurate information, as we said before, you'll have to go to a branch and follow from there, or even your applicant will get denied. So the first name, if you have, if you don't, this is empty. Last name, I'll just type tester here. Is this name that you have uh, been known by legally? If yes, yes. If no, you'll have to enter what you're known legally. Email address, simply enter it right here. And then you will have to enter the phone number. And for me, I'll just enter a random phone number as an example. Just an example of a phone number. Of course, for you, make sure it's correct because you'll have to click on send SMS code. They'll send you the code and you will have to enter the code before even proceeding to verify your ID and a lot of other stuff. So make sure to have it. And just as you can see for me, because I entered some random information, they're telling me just to go to the branch right away. And for you, of course, follow the instructions. And of course, you can even create another account, like a seven account or whatever you want, if you want to. And basically, make sure everything you enter is accurate so you don't get denied. And depending on the account type that you, that you choose and some other criteria, you may get like immediate, uh, an immediate like approval. And upon approval, you may get an email with uh, how the instruction on how to activate it and you'll be good to go. Of course, if you know, want to know uh, reviews of other people, so I'll just go here and open a new tab. Type reviews on like the account that we are just creating, which is back with back bank and simply let's see what people saying trust pilots as you can see they have a low rating why because like normally uh, the average rating of banks or when people like talk about this is you can count it as three instead of five so the best is three because people get upset like so fast as you can see so best most worst uh, best bank ever of course you can take that in mind while you're trying to create an account with them but don't take it like 100% because people get upset for no reason. So you can see what people are saying about us here. If you like, it's good. If not, you can simply go and look for other like options of banks to create an account. With. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, for you, there you have to learn how to create a West Bank Banking Corporation account online. If you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comments. I'll try to do this as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and goodbye.